Welcome to another award presentation from Global Banking and Finance Review. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time we're proud to offer an award to Union Savings and Loan Ghana Africa for Best SME Finance Company Ghana 2014. The company offers all banking services, including a special emphasis on small and medium enterprise banking. But in addition, Union offers personal and family banking, micro-enterprise banking for single entrepreneurs, as well as business training with special SME clinics. Modern IT development has ensured access to banking across Ghana, together with a full customer care call centre. Across Ghana, corporate social responsibility is an essential part of Union's business philosophy. The company believes on the principle of giving back to Ghanaian society as it depends on it for long-term success. Union has participated in various community service activities such as visits and donations to children's hospitals and financial support and backing to children's road safety schemes. Managing Director Philip Otimensa came to London to accept the award, together with Kwasi Nemako, Executive Head of Finance, and Ya Fusag Jimamfi, Public Relations Coordinator. The awards were presented by Global Banking and Finance's Nolo Leary and Jessica McManigan. Afterwards, Mr. Otimensa spoke to me about the company's history and success. First of all, um, we, we have changed our business philosophy significantly from um, 2012 onwards, you know, we used to be a micro institution, a micro banking institution, and we changed to focusing on SMEs, and that's where it all began. And since then, we have um, grown our loan portfolio, for example, by more than 25 times since uh, since December 2012, and we have also grown our deposit portfolio by close to 30 times. So that's a starting point where we, we, we decided that instead of focusing on um, the micro um, part of the market, we, which we believe is not entrepreneurial in their thinking, and moving now to those who are entrepreneurial and can add value, um, we, we, are, we are growing significantly. Um, what's the basis for our growth? What, what's, uh, what's driving this? Um, first of all, I would say it's, it's our staff. We, we carefully select our staff. Um, we we take time to go to the universities to, to talk to students and 60% uh, of our staff are selected right from school and we give them a lot of training. So you have people with similar attitude towards the SMEs and who also have the intellectual capacity and, and if you like the emotional intelligence to, to handle this market. That's the second most important point. And the third one, um, I believe is the SME clinic, which is um, our innovative service that we introduced. Uh, now, why did we introduce this service? We, we did that because in years past, most banks have, have not served this market, even though we all believe there's, there's huge potential because there's, there's a perceived risk you know, that these SMEs are not uh, formalized, they don't keep records. And even more importantly, they don't have management capacity. So what we decided is, look, we want to focus on this market, but at the same time, we, we want to start by fixing the market. So we introduced the SME clinic, and what we do is to train them on a monthly basis in a formal classroom, but on a daily basis, our relationship officers are giving them advice, visiting their businesses, and helping them to, to formalize. Um, and, and, and by doing this, we are not only growing our business, but we are also managing the risk. So even with all the, the, the growth that we've seen, we, are, we also have a very healthy portfolio. So the clinics, which you've obviously explained quite brilliantly yeah. there, they, how exactly do they work on a day-to-day -day basis? Give us a bit more background to that. Okay. So um, some of the, the, the topics are carefully selected um, based on what we feel the clients need, you know, based on the inter interactions we have with them but also based on popular requests. So clients may request that they need more cap capacity building in one area or the other. And here I will share with you some of the topics. We, we look at um, business development, um, how to plan uh, your business, 
uh, how to use um, simple Excel to, to do a business plan. Um, we also look at um, how to use basic I IT to become more efficient, like um, using the, the mobile phone or the internet for your transactions or to, to position your, your products on the market. We also um, look at um, working capital management and record keeping. Uh, we also look at um, areas like how to manage debt, you know, how to manage credit from, from, from the banks. Um, and um, on a weekly basis, so this, this what I mentioned is for the monthly classroom sessions, where which we, we train them sometimes ourselves, resource persons from within union savings and loans, but sometimes we also invite people from outside the organization with the expertise. It's um, fascinating because it sounds like the clinics are almost like miniature business schools in a way, in a, in a, a country which obviously you know, needs that kind of education for people who are setting up business. But let's look at some of those small to medium-sized enterprises, mm -hmm. SMEs. Uh, tell me, uh, what kind of challenges do they actually face in, in a country like Ghana these days? Okay, so a very good question. Um, for, for more than two decades, it has been perceived that um, lack of access to credit is a challenge for SMEs. But we came in and thought, no, that wasn't the challenge. Because as, as I speak to you now, and I'll come, back, I'll come to your question. You know, as I speak to you now, there are more than 500 microfinance companies in Ghana. There are about 25 savings and loan companies. And there are about 27 banks. So the access to credit is no one issue. What we believe is the biggest challenge, as I said earlier, is the lack of capacity, lack of management capacity. And this leads to the SMEs not only failing to manage their business as well, but also sometimes not opening their businesses up for you know, equity participation by, by strategic partners. Um, this, we believe, is the biggest challenge. Um, the, the, other, the other big challenge, um, we believe, is um, the, the lack of networking. You know, so one business might be doing well in one part of the country, and might need to come into contact with another business. And so what this SME clinic does is basically to solve the capacity problem, but also bring them together to exchange ideas and sometimes to, to buy and sell from each other in a very efficient way. It sounds like a, a wonderful plan and, mm. and one that obviously is working for you. Uh, what about uh, Union Savings and Loan? Wh how does it actually see itself positioning its operation within Ghana's economic development? Yeah, so um, it's again all about the, the SMEs. You know, we, like I said earlier, about two years ago, we decided to restructure and reposition ourselves as a, to, be, to become the number one SME bank. Um, and in this sense, I would say that um, our contribution to economic growth is the fact that we are focusing on the SMEs. Now, I'll give you some numbers. The SMEs, um, as, as, as we speak now, contribute more than 50% of our GDP. In terms of number of businesses registered, they contribute to more than 90%. And they employ more than 80% of the workforce. So by focusing on this target group, we are helping to stabilize the economy. Because you know, this is where the bulk of the people are. I mean, in practical terms, you can say that this is where people get money to feed themselves. The, the, the large uh, number of Ghanaians get money to feed themselves. And so this is our contribution. Union Savings and Loan sponsor and organize many community projects. Here at the Union SME Ghana Awards in association with Imaginate, recognition is awarded to numerous SMEs and their invaluable contribution to the economic growth of Ghana. The idea is to offer a major confidence boost and catalyst for SME development in Ghana. And in 2014, a union embarked on a road safety campaign focusing on school children in areas where there are a high number of traffic accidents involving youngsters. Union, in addition to the nationwide campaign, has invested a large sum in crossing aids for the National Road Safety Commission and campaign for child road safety. The other contribution that we are making, as I said earlier, is uh, the fact that we give young people the opportunity to join our team. You know, in Ghana, the uh, unemployment problem is, is very huge. But at the same time, we believe that um, young talents are not given the opportunity. So what we do is to 
um, go around universities and polytechnics to give everybody a chance. And through that, we are, we are able to select the best brains. And in the end, it becomes also a success factor for us. So you're very involved with the, yeah. with the community, the local community. Mm. Uh, how do you ensure that your customer gets the best possible experience when they, they come to your operation and company? Okay, so it, it comes back to almost the same point again. It's about people. You know, it's, um, I believe that um, customer service is about people. Get the right people with the right mindset, give them the training they need, and they deliver good customer service. And, and for us, that's a starting point. But, but beyond that, um, we also acknowledge that, you know, in Ghana, um, there's a lot of traffic. So people spend time, a lot of time, you know, driving their cars. And therefore, when they come to the banking hall, they want a quick service. And so we have put in place systems to ensure that the customer experience in the banking hall is very quick. And beyond that, of course, we use technology to, to so we use um, uh, mobile banking, uh, so clients can make requests through their mobile phone or through the internet. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, about yes. technology. It yes. plays such a vital role mm. within any business, but particularly mm. I in, the, in the banking industry. Uh, what kind of developments uh, have you made and intend to make in the future IT-wise? Okay, so here we have a specific product which we believe um, is very unique. Um, we call it uh, Omni Banking, Union Omni Bank. Um, you know, Omni means uh, everywhere. So basically what we are doing is uh, we've developed kiosks um, and we are running these uh, kiosks on a mobile platform. So uh, we have hundreds of these kiosks and clients can go there and do basic banking transactions, make payments for, for utilities or transfer mobile units. You know, so this is where we feel we are using brick and mortar um, together with technology to, to bring banking to the doorstep of the people. Um, you know, otherwise, even though there are so many banks in Ghana, uh, you still have close to 60% of cash. You know, the last time I checked, 60% of cash still outside the banking system. And we believe this Omni Banking concept will make it easy for people to make their deposits. And then, yeah, we, we can mop up. Just to, to expand on that, what you're saying is that yes. people actually, the money they do have, they don't yes. necessarily put it into the banks. It's no. actually outside. Yes. And, yeah. yes. and so therefore they're not getting the best possible uh, exactly. operational service. And, and this is where the, the Omni Banking concept comes in. And so this kiosk is close to your house or to your business place. You can just walk a few uh, meters to make a deposit. Sounds very exciting. Mm. Uh, obviously that's just one development. Mm. Looking to the forthcoming months, what kind of plans and development ideas do you have going forward? Mm. So basically we want to, to consolidate and strengthen the, the SME clinic. Um, it's just two years old and we believe that we can make further improvements. Um, we, we are going to create a database online that clients can not only access information, but also meet each other and interact. So that's one major project we are going to do to further develop that market. Um, on the other hand, as I said, um, we are also going to, to um, give a lot of training to our staff. We are, we are investing, we still continue to invest in our staff because like I said, most of them are so young. Um, but um, the last thing that I may want to add is um, we are going to of course, do a more branch expansion. As I speak to you now, we have uh, about 18 branches. We'll end the year with 25 branches, um, which means that we are moving into other regions where we don't yet have branches. So a lot to look forward to, yeah. a lot happening. Mm. In the meantime, mm. congratulations on the award, mm. and thank you so much for talking to us today. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you, thank you very much thank you. for having us.